Good morning and happy Boxing Day. I hope you're feeling refreshed after the Christmas celebrations and ready to enjoy the rest of the festive season. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas filled with laughter, good food and the company of loved ones. Now, as we settle into the days between Christmas and New Year's, many of us are turning our attention to what the weather has in store. With the festivities winding down and the last of the mince pies being eaten, it's only natural to wonder what's next for the weather. Will it be a time for brisk winter walks? Or will we be dodging puddles and rain showers? Will we see a late burst of snow to round off December? Or will the mild, wet pattern that's dominated so far continue to linger? The UK's weather is in flux right now, with powerful Atlantic air streams and cold Arctic blasts battling for control over our skies. This tug of war means conditions can change quickly, keeping us all on our toes. December's been unusually mild for many, but now colder air from the north is threatening to push in. This could bring a chillier, frostier end to the year, especially for those in northern regions. What you'll need to wear really depends on where you are and which air mass wins out. Will it be raincoats and wellies, or scarves, hats and gloves? It's a good idea to keep both handy just in case. Let's dive into the latest forecasts and see if your town might get a flurry or two before New Year's Eve. There's always a chance for a surprise dusting of snow, especially overnight. So grab a cup of tea, get comfortable, and let's check the weather maps together to see what's coming up for the rest of the holiday season. This December has felt noticeably milder than usual for most of the UK, with temperatures often sitting above the seasonal average. Instead of the crisp, cold mornings many associate with the festive season, much of the country has experienced a softer, greener winter landscape. Early in the month, we did see a few brief cold spells, but these were quickly swept away by a powerful jet stream coming straight from the Atlantic. This jet stream acted like a conveyor belt, bringing in wave after wave of mild, moist air that kept the chill at bay. A persistent high-pressure system over Europe played a key role too, acting almost like a traffic warden in the sky. It blocked colder air from the east and instead steered those wet, mild weather fronts directly toward the UK, ensuring our weather stayed damp and relatively warm. So, instead of waking up to frosty mornings and the hope of a white Christmas, most of us have faced endless grey skies, drizzle and rain. The classic British winter, wet, not white, has dominated, leaving little room for festive snow. Even the Scottish mountains, which often see early snow, have only managed a few patchy coverings this year. The higher peaks look more autumnal than wintry, with just the odd dusting of white, the warmth of the Atlantic Ocean is a big reason why widespread Christmas snow is so rare here. That vast body of water acts like a giant radiator, sending mild air our way and making it tough for snow to settle, especially at lower levels. But now things are starting to shift. The high pressure system is finally moving away and that opens the door for much colder Arctic air to sweep down from the north. This change could bring a dramatic shift in our weather patterns. As we head toward the end of December, there's a real chance that wintry weather could finally arrive. We might see the first proper frosts of the season and perhaps even some snowflakes in places that have missed out so far. The mild chapter of this winter looks like it's finally closing. A colder, more traditional winter scene may be about to begin, bringing a touch of seasonal magic just in time for the new year. Let's take a closer look at what the latest weather models are predicting and see if a wintry turn is really on the way. As we look ahead to late December, computer weather models are showing a real split in what might be coming next for the UK. Meteorologists are poring over the latest data and there's a lot of uncertainty in the air. 
the European ECMWDF model, which is often trusted for its accuracy, is hinting at a strong area of high-pressure building near Greenland. This setup could send a surge of cold Arctic air sweeping down over the UK, a classic recipe for wintry weather, especially for the north and east of the country. If this scenario plays out, the Scottish Highlands, the Pennines and the North York Moors could all see significant snowfall, with widespread frosts likely for just about everyone. Even lower-lying areas could wake up to icy mornings and a dusting of snow. On the other hand, the American GFS model paints a different picture. It suggests that milder, wetter Atlantic air could push back in, keeping most of the snow confined to the far north and bringing rain and milder temperatures to much of the country, especially in the south and west. What all the models do agree on is that a change is coming, but there's still a lot of disagreement about just how cold it will get and where the snow line will fall. Even a small shift in the position of these pressure systems could make all the difference turning what would have been rain into snow, or vice versa, for millions of people. That's why forecasters are watching the latest updates so closely, analysing every new run of the models to see which scenario is starting to look more likely as we get closer to the end of the month. The big question remains. Will that cold Arctic air manage to push all the way south, bringing widespread wintry conditions or will the Atlantic's milder influence win out and keep things relatively mild and wet? The next few days will be absolutely crucial as new data comes in and the models start to agree on a more definite outcome for the Christmas period. So, let's take a look at what the official outlook from the Met Office is saying and see if it can offer any more clarity on what to expect for the end of December. The Met Office says colder weather is on the way, replacing the mild, damp Christmas week. The North will feel it first, with cold air spreading south over the weekend. Rain bands could turn to sleet or snow over Scottish and Northern Hills. For most in the South, expect rain followed by colder, brighter days. Widespread frosts and icy patches are likely, so take care on the roads. Sunshine returns, but it'll be a crisp, cold winter sun. Any precipitation during this period is more likely to be wintry, sleet or snow, especially in the north and east. Heavy snow in southern cities is unlikely, but not impossible. The situation remains finely balanced. Snow is most likely in the north and on high ground. The Scottish Highlands top the list with ski resorts hoping for fresh snow. The Pennines, Lake District and North York Moors could see a dusting, especially on higher routes. Lower areas along the east coast of Scotland and northeast England might get sea effect snow showers, brief localised flurries. For the Midlands, Wales and the South, snow is less likely. Frost and ice are the main hazards. Still, a surprise flurry can't be ruled out, especially on hills. The forecast is evolving, so keep an eye on updates. Let's talk about why forecasts can differ so much. Ever wonder why one app says snow and another says rain? Different computer models, like the GFS and ECMWF, use unique equations, so their predictions can diverge. The further ahead the forecast, the greater the uncertainty. Tiny errors can grow into big differences. The UK's complex geography means weather can vary dramatically over short distances. Local forecasts may not capture every hill or valley, so human forecasters are key for accuracy. Snow is especially tricky to predict. A degree or two can turn snow to rain. That's why you'll often hear about wintry showers or snow on high ground. Treat long-range snow forecasts as possibilities, not certainties. The models give us trends, but the details can change quickly. 
Let's focus on how to stay safe and have fun if the cold arrives. If the cold snap hits, be prepared and stay safe. Check your car for winter readiness and drive carefully, especially on untreated roads. Look out for vulnerable neighbours and keep your home warm. Layers and hot drinks help. If snow arrives, enjoy it. Build a snowman, go sledging, or just take a walk in the crisp air. Dress in layers, wear a hat and gloves, and use waterproof boots for outdoor fun. Even without snow, a frosty, sunny day is perfect for a walk and lifting your spirits. Watch for slippery paths and wear sturdy footwear. The cold brings a new side to winter. Enjoy it safely. Now, what might January bring? As we approach the new year, the outlook for January is still uncertain. If cold air lingers, we could see more frosty nights, crisp days and wintry showers, especially in the north and east. Snow lovers will be hoping for this pattern to stick around. But the Atlantic could quickly return, bringing milder, wetter and windier weather. This would melt any snow and end the frosts. A typical UK winter. Long-range forecasts are about trends, not day-by-day -day details. Some global signals hint at a colder winter, but it's too early to be sure. We'll have to wait and see as 2026 begins. So, the end of December looks set for a colder, more wintry turn. Snow is most likely in the north and on high ground. Elsewhere, expect frost and ice, but maybe a flurry or two. Stay up to date with local forecasts. They'll get more accurate as New Year approaches. Prepare for travel and keep safe, whatever the weather brings. Enjoy the festive week, whether you're hoping for snow or a mild walk. Share your weather photos and keep checking the latest updates. Wishing you a safe, warm and happy new year. Let's see what 2026 has in store. And yes, I'm hoping for a little snow too. Take care.